Hello, I'm Curran, and I'm thrilled to announce the launch of a brand new data visualization course starting right now called DataViz 2020. DataViz 2020 is a free online course about how to conceptualize, design, and build interactive data visualizations with web technologies. All the lecture videos for this course will be publicly available on YouTube and all the code examples will be open source hosted on VizHub. Let me give you a taste of the tentative curriculum. The content of this course will be split roughly 50-50 theory and practice. The theory parts will come from this amazing textbook by Tamara Munzner, Visualization Analysis and Design. And the practice part of it will be hands-on coding projects that I'm going to approach as though they were professional consulting projects that I would be doing working on today. So it's going to be approached as modern JavaScript using ES6, using D3, and React together. We're going to work our way through this whole book and as we go we'll be implementing the techniques that are discussed in the book through each chapter. There's also going to be a bunch of foundational material on using web technologies, including basics of how HTML works, which includes things like the overall structure of an HTML page, the body element, the head element, the title, and a dash of CSS. And by the way, what you're seeing here is the VizHub editor which I'm going to use to create these lecture videos where I write code and you, the student, are going to use to do all the assignments, which will be of the fork and modify variety. To fork something in VizHub, all you need to do is click on this fork button right here. To describe your stuff in VizHub, you can use Markdown, which gets rendered as HTML here in the visualization page. So this is going to be our starting point right here. From here, we're going to get into making a smiley face using SVG. And then we complete the face using React and D3. We'll explore the notion of components and modules. We're going to load and parse CSV data using D3. And then we're going to take sort of a detour to allow you to start producing a lot of data visualizations quickly without writing that much code, leveraging the Vega Lite API library. Using this library, you can make small changes to the code that affect big changes in the result. And Vega Lite API supports a wide variety of visualization techniques, like bar charts and stack bar charts. The idea here is that you can fork one of these and then modify it to visualize your data instead of the data that it's already showing. Then we're going to really start getting into the weeds of how to do things like load data with React and D3 using the useState hook, how to render data with React, the basics of how to integrate React and D3 together, all the fundamental elements of a bar chart like the basic setup, the margin convention, adding axes, and customizing axes. All with React and D3 and CSS. From here, we'll explore how to make a bunch of different types of visualizations like scatter plots, line charts, and maps. At this point in the course, we're going to embark on an odyssey of interaction, which is a whole other kind of a thing. One of the first things we'll make is this mouse follower that just follows your mouse with a circle that's rendered using React based on the mouse position state. And again, we're going to use the use state hook. And by the way, we're going to use hooks everywhere. None of that old school class based React components. We're going to use that same approach to add interactions to our scatter plot. And the course will sort of culminate in this example where we build this dashboard sort of thing with linked views where you can brush in a data histogram to filter the data that's shown on the map. 
If I've piqued your interest, go ahead and join the course right now by going to dataviz.tech slash dataviz-2020. Your first assignment is to introduce yourself. If you haven't already, please join the D3 Slack group. This is where our online learning community is going to be. So just put your email address here and click get my invite. You'll get an email where you can click through and then join the Slack group, which looks something like this. This Slack group was set up a number of years ago now and it has around 5,000 members. This to me feels like the home of the wider D3 data visualization community. It's a great place to ask for help and to share your work and meet other people interested in uh, data visualization in D3. Our learning community for this course will live inside of the dataviz-2020 channel in this Slack. To join this channel, click on Browse All Channels right here, and then just start typing dataviz- and click on this one, dataviz-2020. Once you're in, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Just say hi. Say like, you know, why are you interested in this course? What sort of stuff do you want to get out of it? Uh, maybe even record a video of yourself talking for a couple minutes and upload it directly to the channel. I look forward to meeting you all and welcome to DataViz 2020.